Hello and welcome everyone to the inaugural video for our new channel. I'm Michael, this is Darren, and this is Two Crows. Hey guys, how are you doing? We hope that you uh, like the content that we provide and we're looking forward to doing many videos for you. All right, we're going to uh, take a quick jaunt over here to the kitchen. We're gonna start this off by making a real simple, delicious crunchy granola. We'll see you in just a second here in the kitchen. All right, and here we are. Like I said, we like to produce a lot of content. Uh, we're not really focused on any one thing. We both enjoy cooking. We're not trained or master chefs or anything. So you're not gonna see any of that you know, speed cutting of a zucchini or something because honestly, I will chop my finger off. And then we've gotta change it to a gore channel and that's just not gonna work. Uh, so we enjoy cooking, we'll show a lot of that. We like to travel, we'll review a lot of restaurants uh, for, we're eating out all the time, we may as well uh, take our camera in and kind of sample everything with you and show you just uh, just different restaurants. Like travel a lot, we've got some trips coming up, we're planning in Las Vegas, some San Diego, uh, take a tour of Las Vegas and uh, just show everything with us the way, the, the way we like to enjoy our time off. Um, and when on the cooking side, I'm not going to be like the some of the uh, recipe channels or recipe websites where I'm going to bore you with 20 minutes of long drawn out. I don't need to tell you how this granola that I'm going to make reminds me of summer spent on my grandparents' farm in Vermont, and the smell of cinnamon reminds me of grandma. No, we don't need all that. You're here to to cook. You know, watch us cook and everything. So that's where we're at. Today, we're going to be making some crunchy granola. Uh, it's perfect for something just to snack on. Um, it's great for just making, you know, pouring some milk on it, having it as a cereal. This one I'm making today, I'm going to try later, uh, put that in as the base for a trail mix that I'm making that'll have this granola in it, as well as some other delicious yumminess to uh, snack on. Anyway, so we're gonna start off with, uh, we've already got our oven preheating to 300 degrees. We're going to line a cookie sheet with parchment paper. Okay, we're gonna start off here. Um, in this bowl, we have uh, three cups of old fashioned rolled oats. We're gonna mix all of our dry ingredients first. Here we have uh, one quarter cup of lightly packed brown sugar. Mix in there. We've got three quarters of a teaspoon of uh, ground cinnamon. Add some great flavor there. And about a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm using a coarse Mediterranean sea salt. It seems to add a little bit more flavor throughout than uh, traditional like table salt. We're going to add approximately one cup, one and a half, one, one and one quarter cup of coarsely chopped pecans. And about one cup of, I'm using dried cranberries. Now you could substitute any other dried fruit, uh, cranberries, raisins, uh, dried apricots, really any type of dried fruit. And the great thing about this, if you don't really want the fruit, it tastes just as good without it, of course. And the same thing with the pecans. You don't have to take use pecans. You can use like sliver almonds, uh, walnuts. I like the pecans. Once they actually toast up, it just gives an amazing nutty flavor. And we're just gonna toss all of our dry ingredients together. And then uh, I've already measured out. In this container we have uh, one quarter cup of oil. I'm using a canola oil, very neutral oil, and one third a cup of honey. And we're just going to mix this in until lightly blended without making a mess everywhere. Okay. 
And then once that's well blended, the honey and the oil, we're going to mix in about one teaspoon of vanilla. Now we use this uh, amazing uh, Mexican vanilla. This entire, what is this, a quart I think, 31 ounces, is probably still less than those little, you know, half ounce or one ounce things you get like McCormick's or Adams or something. And of course, once you've tried Mexican vanilla, you just can't go back to really anything else. Cause I mean, the, the, the flavor is just amazing. Just mix that in with the honey and the oil. And of course, like I said, without making too much of a mess, Okay, then you're gonna take your wet ingredients, completely combine those with the dry ingredients, and because it's kind of a sticky mess, I'm just going to use these. We're just gonna pour our wet ingredients, again, the oil, honey, vanilla combination there, in with the dry ingredients, and just toss this until everything is just really, really well coated. This takes a couple of tosses there, sort of dig down to the bottom there, get all those dry ingredients and just toss the whole thing in the oil and the honey there. That looks about right. Okay, and then we're going to get our cookie sheet that we have already lined with parchment paper. We're just going to spread this out evenly on the in the cookie sheet here. I don't want to have waste any of that delicious oatmeal. Just spread this out into a thin layer. All right, we're gonna pop this in the oven. We're gonna let that uh, cook for about 29 minutes. Um, of course, every oven's different, so you know, just keep an eye on it. Once the oats start turning to a golden brown color and you can smell the pecans that are toasting, you'll know that it's done. So we're gonna pop that in here. Like I said, give that about 29 minutes. It's been 29 minutes. Our timer has just gone off. We're going to take these out of the oven. And these smell absolutely incredible. Like I said, the almonds or the pecans have been toasted. Just an incredible smell. We've got the smell of the cranberries. You can smell that honey and the brown sugar. And you can see that the, or you may not be able to see it, but the oats are just light, real lightly toasted, browned up there. We're gonna let this completely cool on the countertop. That's about 30 minutes or so. And then we're going to break this apart and go from there. Okay, now this has had a chance to completely cool um, 30 to 45 minutes or so. Uh, what I will normally do is you need to fill the bottom of the pan. Once it's about room temperature, then you're good to go. And all we're gonna do from here is, you know, at this point, the honey, the brown sugar, it's all pretty much have just sort of caramelized. So it's crunchy and just uh, amazing. So from here, we're just going to hand crumble it off of the cookie sheet itself into the size that you want. Um, I'm going to be making, the like I mentioned earlier, the trail mix out of this one, so I'm going to sort of chunk it into smaller pieces because that's going to be combined with uh, just a bunch of other components when I make some trail mix. Now, if I was just making this for cereal or uh, just stuff to snack on, I would just leave it in, you know, larger, you know, bite-sized chunks, maybe, you know, something about, you know, maybe about this size or something, just something just you can pop in your mouth and just, you know, maybe take some to go. Um, but the flavors are just amazing. You know, I mentioned earlier that I use that coarse uh, sea salt. 
the sea salt with the uh, honey, the brown sugar, the sweetness from the cranberries, which also adds a little bit of tartness to it, with that just little small hint of salt, leaves almost like a real savory uh, texture and taste to the granola itself. So we're just going to finish breaking this up. <laughs> Okay, and there you go. And you see, even though it's only three cups of oatmeal, you can see it actually had yielded quite a bit of granola here. This is about a 12 by seven inch container, uh, quite a bit. All right, and then this, the finished product. Mmm, that is so good. And oats, honey, some nuts, some dried fruit, great snack. Not you know, heavily processed, um, great tasting. Like I said, the cranberries, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of tart, a little bit of that uh, coarse grain salt with the sweetness added from the brown sugar and the honey. It's absolutely delicious. So now if you like this, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, hit that notification bell to receive a notification on our upcoming videos. Like I said, we've got some uh, in the works now for doing so, this hot, spicy boiled shrimp. We've got that, uh, we're making that road trip to Las Vegas from, we're over here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, road trip to Vegas and then on into San Diego with some great content there. Uh, like I said, like and subscribe. Have a good afternoon. Take care and take care of yourself and take care of others.